This bug is older than me. Like a lot older than me. Hey there! My name is Maisie and I'm five years old. I'm Mila and I'm three. That bug I was holding was 17 years old. That's like a teenager bug. Wow, that's crazy. Today, we're going to teach you all about the 17-year-old bug. Let's do it. Do you like bugs? I like bugs. They come in so many shapes, sizes, and covers. And they have adopted the wolf everywhere, except Antarctica. But it's so cold there. And some of those adaptations are really weird. <laughs> like a bug that pretends to be a stick. Or a bug that walks on water. And today, it's all about one of those special bugs. This one, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Bug. Or right, so maybe it's not a ninja bug. It's more like a jazz bug. But still, it's cool. So that teenage bug is a cicada. But there's 3,000 different cicadas in the world. Why is this one special? Well, there's a couple reasons it's special. One is that it lives for 17 years. That makes it one of the top three oldest bugs in the world. That's pretty cool. But also because of what it does for those 17 years. They actually spend most of those years underground. Only a few weeks at the beginning and the end is above ground. But the most interesting part is when it comes out the ground, they do it all at once. Once every 17 years, the cicadas come out in massive swarms. Billions of cicadas, all at one time. That is a lot of cicadas. And cicadas are really big bugs. So if someone were to somehow not notice the giant swarms of bugs, the cicadas, they still make their presence known. But the cicadas merge from the ground, they do it for one reason, to breathe. And to do that, the male cicadas sing. Now let's just say that cicadas don't sing quietly. One cicada is louder than a vacuum. In any one place, there could be hundreds of cicadas. So now imagine a homeroom vacuum cleaners all running at the same time. That's loud. You want to hear what it sounds like? All right, I'm going to show you. You might want to plug your ears. Three, two, one, go! wasn't it? Now we know what makes the 17-year cicada special. So pretty much, it's a teenage Broadway singer that spends most of its time underground. But dig a little deeper into the cicada's lifestyle. So why do they live that way? Why 17 years? And why do they come out all at the same time? Well, no one knows why they chose 17 years. There's actually other cicadas that come out every 13 years. And most come out every year. But no one knows why. But we do know why they all come out at once. That's because their safety in numbers. A lot of animals think cicadas make a tasty treat. If they came out a few at a time, they all get eaten. But if they all come out at once, then the predators can eat all they want. And there's still millions left over. So they do it so the species can survive. So what do the cicadas do on the ground for 17 years? Well, they eat and grow. 
and the cicada spent the whole 17 years just a couple feet below us. So right now, I'm walking over hundreds of cicadas. That's a weird thought. So how do they know when they come out? It's the temperature that tells them when it's time. They wait for the ground to be 64 degrees, and then they come out. So what happens next? The cicadas wait for the cover of darkness, or when a fewer predators are out, and then they dig their way out of the ground. And since cicadas are big bugs, they make big holes. These are all cicada holes. From there, they usually climb a tree or a house or pretty much anything they find. Hold on a moment. This climber, that cicada, is not a 17-year cicada. You can tell because its eyes are brown, not red. Like that one. But this part of its life cycle is the same. So carry on. Bye. Then they anchor their feet in. They split their old shell down the middle and squirm their way up. Under the shell is a grown-up cicada. Once a cicada pulls itself out of the shell, it hangs from a tree for a couple of hours while its wings stretch out and dry. But there's so many cicadas emerging that if you go outside at nighttime, you'll see them climbing everywhere and hanging their dried wings. I mean everywhere. After that, the cicada's ready to fly to the treetops and start singing. Just like that, the cicada goes from being an underground creature to being a creature of the sky. They'll stay in a treetop singing and laying eggs for about a month. And then the life cycle is over. The eggs will hatch and the baby cicadas will jump to the ground and dig their way under and they'll stay there for the next 17 years. So that's the life cycle of the 17-year cicada. Now, how about a few fun facts? Did you know cicadas have five eyes? That's right, five. They have three simple eyes, which means they only have one lens. And they have two compound eyes with lots of lenses. That's a lot of eyes. But spiders have eight eyes, so maybe it's not that much. <laughs> Whatever. After the cicadas all come out, they leave their empty shells everywhere. That's a lot of empty shells. Even though all 17 year cicadas are the same species, they don't all come out on the same year. Different years are called broods. This year was called Brood X. Even though the X is actually a Roman numeral. So really, it's Brood 10. The next brood will be Brood 13. And it'll come out in Illinois, Wisconsin, and Iowa. That will be in 2024, so you can still see them then. So there you have it. Now you know everything about the 17-year cicada. We hope you like our show. Until next time, bye! bye.